Hunger virus, ba. It was past coronavirus. Hunger virus, eh? It was past coronavirus. Stay very, very well. Stay very well. Government. So I'm gonna try this one too. Japan, this one. Coronavirus. Try this one for Nigeria. Now hunger, they keep people. Hunger, they kill us for yeah. Coronavirus for Nigeria. 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 Compulsory holiday in Nigeria. I think to me, this holiday is getting to senseless holiday. Senseless holiday. The federal government of Nigeria they didn't get it right on how they impose the unnecessary hardship holiday on Nigerians. This holiday of COVID-19 now. Is even worse than hunger and tasty. It is known that lockdown order has caused hardship in different spheres economically and other sectors. But understandably, the pandemic has claimed the lives of thousands across the globe. Nigerians must accept this situation as a matter of life and death, and sacrifices must be made to defeat this purge. I'm a, pers I'm a kind of person that lives on daily basis. On the money I get daily, I save, I live because I do many things with my money. I pay rent, I pay bills, I do many things. So I believe on, I get daily more income. I believe in daily income, whereby I save, I feed for meat. But all these days, even the money I have all these days, I finish spreading it. That was why I came outside. That I can't die at all. We have to come outside and look for our daily bread. Even inside the COVID-19, we are still seeing some customers, and they are coming to us and. Nobody has coronavirus. The truth is that all the way from Papi, most times I trekked. But today, God blessed me. I saw a free ride that took me to Banet. The lockdown is really affecting me in because me, I believe that 100% Niger uh, Nigeria are living on daily income to survive daily. If you think about Banet now, Banet guys, every, even, even, even shop owner live on daily income to, to earn daily livings. But now, in this the lock, the lockdown period now, even the money to even survive daily is not even available again. And even this money itself, from, I trek from left count to Banners, but even as I come to Banners, there's even nothing that, that comes my way. So there's no even hope. So now, like, me, one thing, one thing I want to say to Nigeria is that me, Nigeria, even the government, they even lie to, they are deceiving the masses, everybody, the, the Nigeria is in, in a state of confusion. So, me, I, I'm very get mad even at this time. See as they are pursuing everybody, see police down there, pursuing people. People that come outside to even end daily living. Highest, 500 naira, you can't go house. President Muhammad Buhari is aware of the great difficulties experienced, especially by those who earn a daily wage. But despite these realities, the lockdown had to be extended for two weeks. It has become necessary to extend the current restriction of movement in Lagos and urban states, as well as the FCT, for another 14 days, effective from 11.59 p.m. on Monday, 13th of April, 2020. A visit to Barnex Plaza, the ever-busy market for sales and repairs of electronic gadgets has now become a shadow of itself. Roots TV finds out people's opinion and the economic implications of the lockdown in Abuja and environment. Ah, well, it's been affecting everybody. I mean, I'm not an exception. But then, even though I have a business to run, I have a family to take care of. But at the same time, I realize that it is, you know, only someone that is alive, you know, that does business. So it's not been easy though, but somehow we've been coping. In my own case, I'm, you know, somehow fortunate. In his speech to Nigerians, President Muhammad Buhari acknowledged that the restrictions may make it hard for people to feed themselves and so relief materials would be distributed to communities around the state affected by the stay-at-home order. According to the federal government, the distribution of palliatives will be done using the National Social Register. This register gave the government 
the number of people who will benefit from the conditional cash transfer program. The question is, who compiled the names of the register? Where is the register domicile? How often is it updated? What criteria were used for your details to be captured? The lockdown is uh, really cannot help the economy one. You see, you send them to go stay at home too. How do you allocate currency to them to spend three? I'm coming from Kaduna, I stay in Kaduna, but I have to come for capital due to the expansion. You see, this epidemic is all over trying to tell you that the worst town wall is not built like uh, the way we are in Africa here. It's trying to tell you that you have to put your medical uh, section in order, your education system in order, your environment. You have to set the GPS, set everywhere in order before three. Four, you have to locate all your citizens. If they have national identification uh, number like this one I have here, you identify money to them, you give them support because if you lock them down without sufficient, they can't survive. Nigeria has an extremely high self-employment rate. Considering work-related proportions from a household viewpoint, the Nigerian government did not consider the country's peculiar economic circumstances when it implements its mitigating measures. It must bear in mind the millions of Nigerian households whose livelihoods depend on being self-employed and small-scale entrepreneurs. The lockdown in Abuja and across the country has taken a toll on the people. There is a rise in criminal activities which has overwhelmed the security agencies. The situation has forced many neighborhoods in Nigeria to take the security of their lives and properties into their hands. The situation is getting out of hand and anarchy looms if something is not done now.